Boyce, um, how disappointing was Munro Jr for you? Oh, terribly disappointing. You know, 2017's been a fantastic year for boxing. We've had some great fights, some new, new faces coming through, unified divisions. But we've also seen two of the worst big fight performances I can remember. We had Chavez stinking the place mm -hmm. out against Canelo. I think Willie Munro Jr's performance against Billy Joe Saunders, he's ranks equally alongside that. Um, he was terrible. There was no ambition to win. I personally think he crumbled all through fight week. You know, it was a, a fraught week, wasn't it? He had a lot to put up with. Billy Joe really put it on him mentally. And I think Willie crumbled, sadly. Mm. Um, good for Billy, though, you know. Um, that was a potentially dangerous opponent, a possible banana skin. And he managed to get through it, get Willie Munro out of the way while getting 12 rounds under his belt. Yeah, be invaluable to him. Yeah, importantly, that's good, particularly given the Akavov performance uh, up in Glasgow, Nick. And yeah, I mean, he, he was really good in the battle of the jabs in the first. He threatened to really take over, I thought, in the fourth and the and the eighth rounds, but he just didn't have the dance partner. Is that fair to say? Yes, I mean that is fair because uh, he was so un unambitious. He would just, I think, maybe his corner got it wrong as well, and that they were expecting Billy to implode his conditioning to let him down mm. in the later rounds. But even after six or seven rounds, he was just stood there in the centre of the ring waiting for Billy to throw a punch, you know, to try and catch Billy on the counter or waiting to land the, the big, the big uh, shot. But, you know, Billy's conditioning was spot on. He, at the end of it, he looked as though he could do another three rounds. <laughs>